Hey everyone, it's M4J here and welcome back to Blue Vale here on City Skylines and welcome back to Blue Vale International Airport. Uh, one of the crown jewels of Blue Vale itself. There's a couple of things about this, um, this airport. First thing is, I don't like the fact that runways can be used by multiple planes at the same time. That's not very realistic. Also, the approach path of that plane there is abysmally bad. Where the heck are you going? You're taking off, apparently. Except you're not, because you're clearly coming in to land. Yeah, landing. Okay. Whatever. The fact that runways can be used by multiple planes at the same time does kind of bug me a little bit. Um, that's problem number one. Problem number two is actually to do with the buses. Uh, between last episode and this, I went and mapped out loads of bus routes between the airport and various parts of the city. And we've ended up with this sort of issue, which is buses everywhere. Um, that probably will get fixed as time goes by. They'll sort of, you know, separate themselves out a little bit more. This line's popular. Wow. Number six. Where does number six go? Uh, all the way over to... Uh, okay. Where's this? This is the uh, the interchange, isn't it? That makes sense. But yeah, we've got 20 buses operating on this line. And it's insane how busy the airport gets with just buses. It's very crazy. Anyway, it's working. That's the main thing. The airport is working. It's bringing people into the city. It is also, to an extent, bringing cargo into the city. But not a huge amount of cargo. And that's where today's episode comes in. I want to get cargo coming into the city and cargo going out of the city. And one of the best ways to do that is to build a huge industrial area. Now, originally, I was going to start working on the industrial areas up here to the north of Dalton. Um, so there was going to be one in this area, which is going to be more like office-y, I suppose, to start with. But then it will, as you get closer to the river, it will start to go more into industry. Uh, and then across the river here, it was going to be purely industrial. That was the plan. And then over here, we've got the docks. Uh, and then there's going to be roads taking things to and from. There's also going to be, uh, yeah, over here, there's going to be a new interchange here. Motorway interchange. And then one set of roads is going to go off this way. Probably now it would go through the hill somehow. But I don't know how. Um, and we'll end up at the industrial area over here. That's the plan. Now it might actually just swerve to the north of um, of Dalton and then enter this area here and then over there. Something like that. Instead, what I'm going to do today is um, this. We've got natural resources in and around the map. And I always forget this part of City Skylines exists, to be honest, because it's kind of hidden. But we've got some uh, some natural resources here that we could take advantage of. There's some lovely farmland here, which is really annoying because I wasn't planning on building anything in this area other than residential. But I might have to build some farmland here now, which seems weird. So I don't know if I like that. There is also some uh, areas up here that we could potentially use. Although, again, it seems weird having it this close to an airport. What I should have done was check this before I started building because, you know, Old Blue could have be uh, become farmland. And Vale Shores over here could have become farmland. The fact that Belmont Hills takes up loads of farmland, as does the Yard South, is kind of annoying. As does the Yards North, which is even more annoying. But there is this one over here, and that could end up being used. Either that, or I come in with a painter and create my own. In which case, I would probably do it... Um, probably this area over here, actually, where the forestry area is right now. Because that would look good. But what I'm going to do today... There's an oil area over here. So we're going to add some oil. There's also some ore in this little area here. There's also uh, some ore in this area here. And there's some ore in this area here. All the green bit is forestry. And I would like to add some forestry in as well. But I think the priority is this oil area here. Uh, when the game incorporates. This ore area here. And this ore area here. And also rebuilding this junction to get it to work how I want it to. So, with that said, let's start with the motorway. Let's get the motorway working pretty much exactly how I would like it to. That would be a good place to start. So the plan is to rip out most of what you see here now. 
Um, I'm also going to add a new motorway interchange around here somewhere, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing that today. Uh, and it's probably going to be one that points both directions because this area here is perfect for farming and this area over here is perfect for residential. And we've already got the tram in place. We could even build a railway station over here in future as well. I've also got a plan for something to do over here at the interchange, but I'm not going to do that today either. But um, also between episodes, I can't remember if I showed this off before, but I added these crossovers. So now you will see, there it is, this train here is actually going to cross over and it's going to head off towards Stadium Point, which is really cool that it works, but I'm actually going to rip this line out here and use it for a light rail connection if it, the game allows me to, of course. Anyway, let's, um, let's get started on this motorway first and then we'll start talking about uh, what we're going to do regarding the oil and ore industries. This is the interchange. I think this should work quite well. The idea is if they're coming from the right hand side here, they're coming around this way onto the motorway to then go off towards the industrial area, they can do so without getting in the way with existing motorway traffic. I think this will work quite well. Um, that's a weird dip that we've got there. Can I fix that? Yes, I can. Look at that. Love these mods. These mods are great. They make my life so much easier. Yeah, nice. Right. So that's um, that's this bit done. Nice and uh, easy, he says, realizing that he's half an hour into his recording. But we, uh, we're still not done with this episode, of course. So the next thing is over here. We've got to build the oil area. Now, I'm already debating how to connect this up to the rest of the city. Um, it's not going to be easy. So I might actually come back to the oil and focus on the ore first because the ore should be relatively simple. Ore is over here. If I, can I build a road without, nope, cool. 
the ore i think comes up to yeah this brown line so if i build a road that runs along the brown line but towards the bottom of the brown line we should be able to get as much of the ore as possible in uh do i have industrial roads are they a thing oh water and sewage what's that wow do these have huh okay <clears throat> um i don't know how that works I was hoping to have some industrial roads that I could use. I don't think I do. Or at least not like in a tab. I've got some that I can find by typing industrial into the search bar, which I'm going to do now. Oops. It would help if I could spell it. Industrial. There we go. Now, if I did this... I thought I had more than this, but maybe I don't. Okay. In that case, let's just see what I've got um, under these various tabs. So I could just do this one to start with and then upgrade as we go. So if I grab this and if I draw it... Actually, I do need a... Yeah, I do need a four lane. Um, and if I draw it sort of along this edge, like so... There must be a way to have the uh, the ore overlay open at the same time, right? And it's just me being dumb. Because otherwise this is incredibly stupid. Uh, let's do it like this. And then let's just go out to there for now. So if I now click this again. Yeah, there we go. So I've got, for the most part, I've actually got it pretty good here. I'm quite happy with that. So now if I go back to this type. And let's say I built this here straight up um, to here. But I want it to be kind of like that. Yep. And then if I did something similar over here, try and get it relatively flat if I can. Um, and then do something here. This one, I might just draw one out for now. Um, and then this one, I guess here. And again, just draw it out by one. Sure. And then this one. Draw it out by one. Let's go with that. Now, if I go into the Industries tab, which I think is this one, and then go Ore Industry. Yep. So we've got large ore mines which we need an industrial area for um, I would love to build these here pointing towards the mountain that would look freaking awesome so that would be uh, a really cool place to put it and then we could put storage either side so I need to paint an industrial area let's do that industrial specializations or industry uh, oh, I've got to actually mark it out first. So can I have this on as well while I do this? Yes, I can. Excellent. So we're going to do this. It's Garnet District. We're going to rename that in a second. You are ore industry. So you're going to be, let's just call you Garnet Mines. That works well. What's the microphone for? Premium Studio. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Premium Studio, apparently. That's uh, interesting. Is that a city planning thing? No? Not a clue. Maybe that comes under um, this. No. 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 Yeah, no idea where that's come from. That's fine then. Don't think it comes under any of this. Nope, just got a random premium studio thing. Cool. Excellent. Right, let's build these then. So, not in industry. So, yeah, I don't think I've done something right here. Oh, you have to build, yeah, you have to build uh, an ore industry main building first. That's why. Let's stick you, like, here at the entrance there we go uh, Lafayette pit 
I can live with that. That kind of works. How do I expand you then? Oh, yes. You. Industry area. So actually, I don't know if I do need to have the district. But we might have it anyway, just to fill some gaps, shall we say. So you're the Lafayette Pit at Garnet Mines. That works. I can live with that. All right, now we're going to have the large mine. We're going to stick you there. I think that's approximately... Nope, not quite. One over, I think, is approximately in the middle. There. Sure. Um, then we'll have... We could technically have another large one here. But I think we'll have some medium ones in here. Or a medium one. And then another medium one there. And then a couple of small ones over here. So one there like that. And one there like that. That's cool. Right. Somewhere. Maintenance building. That will be perfect to stick in. I guess there then. Oh, hello. I guess there then. Um, the barracks. Oh, if I could have fitted that in there, that would have been excellent. Let's see if I can do that. That would have been absolutely perfect. Yes. Nice. Right. Storage. So, seabed mining vessel. Oh, that would be cool to have as well, if we could. Or grinding mill. We need those. Now, I think those should actually go in another area over here somewhere and then it's all about storage right and manufacturing so where's storage storage is here so we've got sand storage we've got ore storage now those definitely need to have their own areas so this main road is going to actually skirt along the edge here um, storage actually could come down here if I was to build storage, how big? They're fairly big, actually. They're fairly big. But maybe if I did oil um, or storage here, we'll expand the industrial area in a second. Sand storage opposite. One there, one there. That should be. That's a fair, fair old whack of storage we've got there. And then for storing the ore industry raw material, storage building can be placed inside uh, outside industrial area. So what? A lot is that is used for storing the ore industry raw materials. So is this just all raw materials? In that case, I kind of want a dedicated storage area. I can already tell that this is going to get very busy very quickly so um, I'm kind of keep my wits about me on this one let's for this build a relatively large area like this and we're gonna build it out might have to go bigger let's go whoops not shift oh yeah no shift that is what I want Try 120. I think that's closer to the size we want. And then we want coal there and there. And if I could fit one more in, that would be good. I can. And then sand, sand. And then, yeah, I would love to put another sand one there, but for some reason, this isn't zonable. And now it is zonable. Cool. Sand uh, there as well. Nice. And then we'll put these ones directly opposite. So, one there. Uh, one there 
Oh, I'd have loved to have put another one there, but never mind. And then for these, one there and one there. So that's storage taken care of. Don't know how well this is going to work, but at least that's storage taken care of. Um, whoops, wrong one. Actually, for this, that is kind of a good one. Have we got the asymmetric? We have. Nice. So I want to put you here. And then have you swap like that. Cool. And then if we set these up. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted it to do. Nice. And then over here, I want you to run parallel. Like that. Uh, for manufacturing then. So what have we got? We've got ore grinding. That would be good to have near the ore storage. Which is over there. So we'll come back to that in a second. This is glass manufacturing. Which is perfect to have near the sand storage. Which is here. Now what's annoying is there's no room for it. Which is something I should have thought about. What do you store then? So you can store ore or sand. Or you just store ore. Does that mean you just store... No, you just store ore as well. So actually, it makes more sense for you to... Um, yeah. It makes more sense for these to actually be over here. If I could squeeze you in there, which I can... And then squeeze you in there, which I can. In which case, glass manufacturing can be built directly opposite where it comes out. Not in industry area. That's annoying. One second. Fix that. So I think definitely this whole area here needs to be expanded. Now we could actually... Yeah, I'm actually going to make a slight tweak here. Bear with me, I'm going to go into time lapse again and I'll explain a little bit more what I've done when I come back. Okay, so here's my thinking. Right now we've got the mines, we've got the storage. There is nothing that says that the mines and the storage have to be in the same place. They can quite easily be in different locations and that is what I'm going to do. So we've got the mines over here with the, uh, the different roads here connecting it all up. We're gonna just fix some of these. If the game lets me. It is getting very laggy now, the game. Um, this city is starting to reach its conclusion. We're not quite done with it yet. There's a few more things I would like to build. I would definitely like to get on and build a docks because that's something that kind of slipped away from me on the, uh, the previous cities that I've tried to build. So I'd like to try and be uh, successful with it this time around. But yeah, we... Um, we're going to get the, uh, the mines in here and then we're going to build the storage elsewhere. Now, the storage could easily go... Uh, not storage, sorry, the manufacturing could go elsewhere. That could easily go on this section here. But I think it actually does make sense to build it a little ways away from the mines, just to justify the existence of the mines. And I think over here would be a good place to build all of our manufacturing. So the oil industry could have manufacturing over here as well. And that then encourages 
vehicles to drive from the oil down this way into this area over here. Now, I don't know how that works in the grand scheme of things. I think we'll have to split things up into different areas, but that's fine. That's something we can do. And uh, another thing it allows us to do is build that interchange that I was talking about that's going to go around here somewhere. Now let's have a look and see what interchanges I have available to me now. Um, a roundabout one would be awesome um, were it to work. But then, you know, something like a diverging diamond could potentially work as well. Uh, it would have to go this way around, which is very interesting. Um, or you've got... What else have we got? Something that's... Something that's kind of main road to main road would be good rather than motorway to motorway. But I don't think I have any of those. Which is interesting. That's cool. That's something I downloaded a while ago and never actually got around to using. So I would like to use that at some point. Um, there's the partial cloverleaf from Yumble. Which could work. Were it built in the right spot. Let's have a look and see if there was a main road. So there's that one over there. Which let's say it came round this way. And then did some other curves and bits. That could potentially go here. Potentially. We'll see about that. But um, yeah, I'm going to have a little think about this. Might even end up just building one manually. But uh, yeah, once again, let's go into a time lapse while I sort this out.
All right, so here we are then. We've got ore square with high mineral, which hopefully is going to produce some lovely, lovely ore products for us. We have also got these uh, storage units over here as well, which may or may not um, start importing stuff. I don't know how well that works actually, but yeah, we've got glass manufacturing plants, we've got fiberglass plants, over here we've got the ore grinding mills, which may or may not also... Oh, yep, looks like trucks are starting to head over here from um, somewhere. There is also the small fact that, yeah, they can't actually get this way from the south. So that might be something we have to look into. Uh, it seems to be finding its own way at the moment, but yep. And also, I forgot to water this area, which is not very smart of me, because that was the first bit that I was meant to do and I forgot. So, for this one, I might just do straight sections across like this, and like this, and then straight along, whoops. Oh, come on. There we go. Straight along like so, like so and like so and like so and then do something similar on this side one there one there one there one there and then across to there and then out this way that should cover everything and then if i connect this here to, let's say just over there for now and then I could do a redundancy line somewhere there we go right this should now start producing hopefully so it is saying it's producing and it's got workers which is fantastic and it should be producing ores you could do advanced automation just to get it to go a little bit faster as well um, you may have also seen I've placed some industries down here as well I feel like that was a good idea um, production rate 12,880 units per minute. That's pretty good. I do say so myself. And storage efficiency. Yep. Cool. Excellent. So where are you going? You're going to the glass manufacturing plant. So you're actually going straight to the plant. Interesting. Hmm. Um, I'm going to let this kind of go for a bit. Uh, in, a, in a bit as well. Uh, and just want to see how well it actually works. I'm hoping... What am I doing? I'm trying to set up a time traffic light. I'm hoping that uh, things will actually work very well indeed. But uh, yeah, it very much depends. Can I not? Nope. Okay. Um, it very much depends on, on various things, I suppose. Right, let's do that. We'll do straight on here. Cool. And then this one will turn you off, you off. We'll have you on and we'll do that. Yep. And then for this one, we'll do that and that. Cool. Yeah. So I do need to add a roundabout somewhere for vehicles here coming from outside the city into this area because right now yeah there is no way for them to do that now eventually i think this junction here will get upgraded and there'll be a new connection road that will join up over there that to me seems like a good plan but right now all square is uh struggling a little bit to import actually i say that it probably isn't struggling at all no we've got trucks for days coming in which is awesome i will need to put fire and police and things like that around but for now, this is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, did I say anything about... Yeah, we've got lots of workers as well, which is fantastic. So hopefully this starts leveling up soon. And then we can start looking at um, some more exciting things. But this will also, I hope, provide a, uh, a steady stream of cargo that then heads to the airport to fly out to other locations. And yeah should just be good <laughs> all being well should just be good okay this is all good that's full that one is mostly full this one over here is also mostly in fact that one is also full and then these ones are almost full themselves cool and then over here 
So yeah, this one, I'm tempted to say empty. Oh, it does say here. Right, balanced. Aim to keep the storage half full and half empty. Fill. Aim to keep the storage full by acquiring the resource. Empty. Aim to empty the storage by selling the resource. So actually, balanced is probably the best one for, for these. Balanced is probably the best one for over, over here as well. Maybe for now I'll just set everything to balanced and we'll go from there. That one's already on balanced. I know that much. You're now balanced. You're now balanced. Yeah, that one is balanced. Cool. And then you will be balanced. Excellent. And yeah, we should have stuff coming in soon. In fact, it is starting to arrive already, which is fantastic. And you can imagine we've got the mineral one up here. We could have the oil one down here, potentially. Factory somewhere over here. And then forest down here, maybe. Farm, I'm still not sure of, to be honest. And then over here, we could just have a generic industrial area, but not too close to Blue Beach, because we want Blue Beach to remain pretty much an idyllic place to live. But we'll see how well that works. Uh, also, I need to do some more lane connection stuff over here as well, just to make sure that things do go as intended. Right, that I think does it for this episode. There isn't much more left to say and much more left to do, I don't think. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. It's, again, a little unorthodox and it'll probably require some rebuilding and stuff to get it how I exactly I want it. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the way this is going. We've got a really good industry start here. Um, hopefully over time... That's now broken. Let me just move that. Um, hopefully over time more stuff gets delivered and things start working a little bit better and stuff like that. And then, yeah, we can start looking at um, the oil. Uh, not oil. The oil industry. That's the next big one. But uh, that is until next time. So, until then, thanks very much for watching. Uh, this is probably one of the worst outros I've ever done to a video, but never mind. I could have another crack at it, but what's the point? Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series so far, drop those comments down below with ideas for future episodes. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It really does help me out. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you for your continued support. Like I said, really helps me out. I'm always very appreciative of that. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And until next time, from uh, the very, very built up Lafayette pit here at Garnet Mines. I will see you soon.